everybody. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I got an unboxing, which I'll say in a minute, because first, hi, if you're new to my channel, I'm Lori, and welcome to the Chatty Bookworm. Um, let me get the, I didn't look at it yet, but let me get the thing, because I forget what it's called. But Unplugged Book Box was doing this um, surprise box where you had to fill out some questions, and you got a book and some items that went along with what you were what you answered so it's called blind date mystery box for the summer of 2022 so this is what it says Boy. let me turn on my light because i can't read this very well so there's what it says welcome to our first annual blind date mystery box Unplugged began in 2018 after an idea from a book subscription box that provides bookish self-care items and unstable novelty, unable, un, un, unable, I mean, or usable, not usable, I'm, I'm totally saying that wrong, usable novelties. Each year we've done two batches of mystery height boxes in winter. We do an advent box. This is the first time we've done them with an accompanying personalized quiz to help us choose your book and product. We had so much fun putting these together and we hope you love them. So a portion of the procedures from this box will be donated to the co coalition, 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 how is that word? For rainforest nations. Because how do we choose the box? We did our best to understand what John or gender John or whatever you want to say you prefer and what kind of storylines you might enjoy. We may have chosen from our stock if there was a book that matched your taste and you were not subscribed for the box it was featured in, or we might have chosen a book from an online bookstore. We hope that it becomes a new favorite. The products were chosen based on the personality, on the personal, yeah, personal, personalization, I mean, quiz by the chosen products and the sense we thought you enjoyed. Feel free to share your unplugged book box on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or TikTok, and make sure to tag us. It truly brightens our day and can help all the small businesses and artists we feature. Thank you for grabbing a mystery box. Please use code blah 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 for future order. So, yeah. All right. So I got the big one. <laughs> I would normally not get the big one because it was kind of expensive, but. Um, since I haven't gotten a box in a while, I splurged. But look at this, like, oh my gosh. I don't even know where to put these. I got like, what you call it all over? I have no idea where to put it. Let's see what we can get. So I see this. I don't know what this is for, but I see this. <laughs> the first thing I see. Like you like maybe you use it to let out a can. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I just don't know what to do with all this like stuff that's in here. Ooh, cool. We got like some markers. This one had like eight to ten products, I think. I'm not really sure. And a book. Yeah, see, this is cool. No, maybe that's oh okay this is the just the um what you call it I just like that they kind of have a smell to them I don't know if they're supposed to be scented or what whatever they are they're cool so we just have to work around all these all these oh my gosh that must be the book right there let's see what we can get to next <laughs> But while I'm doing this, if you guys haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video is up of mine for your viewing pleasures. Okay. Ooh, this one's strong. Cranberry Clove and Dark Magic Cleansing Bath Salt. It's from Fiction Bath Cut. Yeah, that's definitely strong. <laughs> I don't know if I would use this because it's hard for me to use a lot of um, 
like stuff that has a lot of scent just because I'm very sensitive. <laughs> but that's cool. We got a lot of stuff in here, you guys. A lot of stuff with boxes, so yeah. But let me I'm just trying to like get some of the smaller ones and work our way. So we got this Robinson Family Soap, Blood Sisters, some kind of I can't read what that says. P U P U M I C so far. I don't know. I can't read it. But we got that. We got um, a bath soak. It says make your perfect passion bath soak. Robinson Family Soap. That's cool. <laughs> We've got a lot of these little wiggity thingies. Um, let's see. Oh, this is something in here. Okay. I think there's a box down here, too. Oh, cool. There's a lot of boxes, you guys. A lot of boxes. What is this? Ooh, look at this. I don't know what it is, but ooh, cool. Whatever it is. It's a water thing or something? Or for something for cough? Oh. Oh, this is cool. Not sure what it is, but that's cool. We got this. It looks like there's something in there, like a. If you pull it out, maybe? Yeah, okay, you pull it out. I'm not sure what this is. No, oh, it's you know, half blood. Narnia, middle, okay. The four Londons and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Like, is it supposed to be for tea, or... It looks like a strainer, if you can see it really good. I'm not really sure. Sorry about the lawnmower going, but Hannah's trying to mow the grass, so it'll be fine until we get back. Because we go on our trip in a couple of days. You know, when you guys are seeing this, it'll probably be a couple of days into the trip. Because I'm probably going to put this up on Tuesday or Wednesday. Set it for Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't tell you what it is in the box. But that's cool. Like, this is really neat. Okay, let's see what's in this one, shall we? Let's see. Oh, cool. I don't know what this is, but... Oh, cool. It's kind of a jar. This is really cool. This says, a person can never have too much reading material. I don't know. I guess you could use it as a TBR, maybe? Put your TBR... Like, use it as a TBR thing, or I don't know. This is cool. Definitely cool. You know, geez, this is a really good box. And it's actually, you know, like, sometimes you'll spend all that money and you're like, I don't even think it's worth it, but, oh, my God. Hey, there's a couple of books, it looks like. We'll find out. We'll do these last. I'm trying to get to all the stuff that's here. Ooh, look at that. Oops. I think this is maybe it besides the books. But it looks like I got two books. I thought it was only supposed to be one. Okay, so we got this and then the book. So let's see what this is. Oh no. I <laughs> think I can get it open. Because you guys know me, I suck. Got stuff like this. I'm curious what this is. My fingers don't want to work. Let's see what this is, shall we? Oh. I don't know. Is this why? I'm not sure what that is. Okay, there's nothing else in there. I'm not sure what this is. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. Looks like it's put like it. It's sharp. I hope that. I wonder if that's sharp. Oop. Whoa. Is this broke? Or is that the way it's supposed to be? It kind of makes me nervous here. I don't know. I don't want to poke myself because this looks a little. This is a little sharp. Like those pieces here. Oh, okay. Whoa. 
look at this. It's like the hang up, I think. It's just a pretty light to hang. Hang it up and let it dangle. Look at that. I have to figure out where I'm going to put it to let it dangle. Look at it. This is cool. This is really neat. I don't know. I guess, we, like I said, you just hang it up. There's a lot of, like, so that's cool. And let's open up and see what the books are. Let me put this down. I'm sorry, Anya. I always got to put that down. Let's open this one first. Let's see what we got in this one. Hey, cutie. Hello, Mama Bambina Princess. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Because it feels like there is. Okay, there is something in there. Let me let my girl up. Because my girl. Come here. You can't go outside. Hannah's mowing the grass. You gotta wait. Sorry, no grass. I mean, no outside yet. Hannah's mowing the grass. You could get hurt. Come up here. Come here. <laughs> Let's see. I got something called Reputation by Lex Croucher or something like that. I've never heard of this one. A lady is nothing without one. Cool. It says, it is a truth universally acknowledged the gir that girls just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. That's all they really want. Do you just want to have fun, baby and Bina? You're a girl. Do you just want to have fun? Do you just want to have fun? Okay. <laughs> Book a shelter, Georgina Elders is spending the summer with her aunt and uncle at their English countryside home at a particularly dull party. She meets the in, 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 medic, energetic, how is that word? Francisca, Francis, I mean, Campbell, a member of the upper, I don't know how you say this word. <laughs> E-C-H-E-L-O-N-S of reg, reg, Regency. Society who delights Georgina with her di disregard for politeness and pro pro propriety. Propri How do you say that? Pro propriety? How do you say that word? <laughs> Can I say that word? So Georgina quickly falls in with Frances and her friends who introduce her to a world of drunken debauchery and lavishing parties. Says when she meets the seemingly quiet and straight laced Thomas Hawks. Hawksley, I mean, sparks fly, but Thomas seems unimpressed with the company she keeps. Soon, Georgina begins to wonder if the price to enter this world would be higher than she could afford to pay. Set in a time when one's reputation was everything, the hilarious debut, this, this hilarious debut explores sex, belonging, and status through the eyes of an unforgettable heroine whom John, Jane Austen herself would have cheered for. So this is like if it says if Flea, if Bridgerton and Fleabag, I'm not sure who Fleabag is, had a book baby, it would be Reputation. I had held it in one set in Sarah Manning. Reputation is hilarious and compelling. Was a truly fresh take on Regent Regency Regency. How do you say that word? Romance. I like the card. And I'll bring this closer in case you want to pause and read the author's note, if you can see it. That is so cool. We still got one more book. And it looks like it's signed. So, that's cool. You see the initial right there. Ellie. Or L. Elsie. Maybe that's a C. Yeah, it's a C. Cool. And then there's like a Dear Reader note right there. Hey, we still got one more to open up. One more book. This one feels like it's hardback. I'm bad at opening these things. 
This is fun. It's like a what you call it with the book? Blind date with the book and goodies. Can't get it. Okay, what is it? That's what the cover looks like. Queen of the Titles. Tiles. Tiles. By Hannah Elf. El Cuff. El Cuff. Never heard of this one either. Cool. Cool. I never heard of it. Let's see what it says in a minute. First, let me open this up. Oh, the author note is on here as well. I didn't see one in the package, but there's on one on the inside. And it has something to do with grief because I see the author's note. It says something about people deal with grief differently. So it says, Catalyst, 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 13 points. Now, substance that spreads up a, re um, and it speeds, I mean, speeds up a reaction without itself changing. Wind. I'm not sure how you say this character's name. Something walks into her first Scrabble competition since her best friend's death. It's with the intention to heal. Perhaps it wasn't the best idea to choose the very same competition where said best friend, Trini Lowe, died. It's Macrib? I don't know how you say that word. But No. No. Whoa. Najwa? It's N A J W A is her first name. Finds meaning in this gesture because she's not ready to give up Trini just yet. But the same can't be said for all the other com competitors. With former Scrabble Queen Trini gone, her friends are eager to take the throne. All fears of love and Scrabble, but all bets are off when Trinity's formerly interactive Instagram starts posting again with cryptic messages suggesting that maybe Trinity's death wasn't as straightforward as everyone thought, and maybe someone at the competition had something to do with it. As secrets are revealed and the true color of her friends are shown, it's up to Nawa, Najawa, something like that, to find out who's behind this mysterious post. And, I mean, post. Not just to save Trini's memory, but to save herself. Ooh. I never heard of that. That is so cool. And it's, it sounds like there, it's going to be pretty cool. And like I said, there's an author's notes right here. talked a little bit about saying about, about Scrabble but yeah I've never never heard of this one it's so cool when did, when did this book come out definitely books that that I would so this I think this thing worked out good this is definitely stuff I would I would love to read that sounds good to me it is this year. Well, it says design was 2021. The illustration and the text was 2022. I've never heard of this. Yeah, it says first edition. New York something 2022. 12 and up. This is cool. And I did say I like romance and mysteries, and this is definitely like the setting. This one looks like it's gonna be really intriguing too. This one sounds more like a mystery, like this one is a romance. I'm trying to read what it says here. So this is definitely white with young adults. And this one sounds like it's adult. So I got one YA and one adult book. That is cool. When did this one come out? I think I remember this cover. Oops. 
<laughs> the book was falling on my baby. I'm curious about this one. When did this one come out? Last year? Let's see. No, it says 2022. First edition. Okay, it came out this year. Cool. I think both of these are cool. Maybe I'll do a video where I read both of the books. Can do a video for that? Books I got from my mystery book box. Book day box. Whatever you want to call it. Not bad. Like, I'm trying to figure out what that... What... Um, this is. I'm not sure what this is for. I really, really don't know. Ooh, that was made a sound. I don't know what this is for. <laughs> if anybody knows what this is for, let me know. <laughs> when you guys see this video, because I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no idea. She's sniffing it over here. She's like, mm -hmm. I don't know what that's for. I can't figure it out. And there's no paper to tell you, like, what each of what each of these are. But I really love this. And I don't still know what this is for. I thought maybe to snuff a candle. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, let me. There's no candle in this, but. Maybe you can smother your candle with it. <laughs> you light a candle? I don't really know. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah, five with the thing. Oops. Six. I think that was six. I think we got seven, right? And the one. Um, and I put it in the box or somewhere because I didn't want it to what you call it. But there's eight items, right? Eight, nine, because one of it's only supposed to be in one book. I mean, they they said one book, but apparently they gave me two. Yeah, not bad considering that. Like some of these, like are pretty like cool. Like this one is probably my favorite Camp Cat Blood. Um, paint pandem, pan something like that. The Four Londons. I mean, this is really cool. The Middle East, Fairy, Narnia. Wonderland, Treasure Island, Never Neverland, Revka. So that is cool. Let me do, let me show it to you guys again in case you guys didn't see all of it. Look at that. That is cool. I just can't figure out if it's a what this is supposed to be if it it looks like it's supposed to catch something so maybe it's for tea or for flavored like if you want to put flavored water in it or something I'm not really sure I really don't know but I'm assuming you could put like I know there is such things as those waters and then I forget what they're called though or if I don't want to use this part I could just use it as a regular water bottle and I'm probably gonna use this as a TBR jar or just as a pretty I like both of these this is so nice yeah I'm really happy with it I think it was really worth the money I probably won't use these two just because of my skin the girls might like to take a like a bath with this and then my girls might want to take a bath with this and then put this on afterwards I just can't do it because of my skin. It's cool. So these are the only two things I, and the soap. I probably won't use the soap. These three I probably won't use. 
but this does smell good. Does that smell good? Does that smell good? Yes, yeah, smell. You smell it. She's sniffing it. She goes, with her cute little nose. But yeah, these three I probably won't use. But I'll have to find somewhere to hang up that one thing. But yeah, I'm really intrigued about the box. So let me know what you think about this box. What was your favorite thing? I mean, yeah, they definitely need to do this again. But yeah, this was the other thing, of course. You guys already know. I just don't know where I'm going to hang this. I might just like put it on the side of my um, book, one of my book thingies there. The cats will probably play with it though. Let me double check and make sure I got everything. I'm sure I did. But let's make sure before we hang up, before we hang up, before we in this video. You know what I mean? Yep, I got everything. So, yeah, like I said, let me know what your favorite thing was. If you guys can figure out what that thing is, what this thing is, let me know. And is this for like the water? You know, that flavor, that one water that you put like the um, thing on? Or is, I don't know, can't figure it out. Oh, wait a minute, that lit up. What the heck, how did that do that? I swear it just lit up. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I think this works for this. Look at that, do you see that? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but there's a number on it. Like when I did this, it says 88 Celsius or something like that. 24 Celsius. What the heck? <laughs> Look at that. It does like numbers when you push that up. I don't know what it's for. <laughs> like, what the heck is this thing? Like, really, I don't know what it is. That's so cool. You hit it and there's like a number. Like, what? Like, what is this supposed to be? Maybe it ain't even supposed to be a drink thing because it lights up. I have no idea. Like, I am like stumped. Like, what is this? <laughs> and she didn't put a um. And she didn't put a thing. I and mean, they didn't put a thing in here, so I don't know. But look, isn't that cool? It says twenty four Celsius. Okay, maybe it's a, to heat it up. I have no idea. Does this belong to this? I'm so confused, you guys. Ah. <laughs> Maybe someone else can figure out what it is because I'm lost and there's nothing in the paper. I mean, they didn't send me like a thing, you know, like saying what each thing is. So I have no idea. So if you know, let me know down below. Um, yeah, this is so cool. I don't know what that thing is. I'll have to look it up. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. And I already did everything. You know, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. You know. Um, but, yeah. Remember, DNF, DNF, DNF of your friend. Don't be afraid to DNF. And remember to hold on to your loved ones. Don't go a day without telling the people you love that you love them. And... Don't let petty fights get in your guys' way. Make up like me and my husband do. Don't go to sleep angry. And yeah, until next time, happy reading. Thanks for being awesome. And I'm out of here. I hope you guys all have a great day or night. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Lori out. And Anya. Lori and Anya out. Say bye, everyone. <laughs>